Welcome back to another High School League recap brought to you by your boy Nizzy and the eSport Company. For Week 5 Valorant, we had Winbro up against Greater Johnstown, Mo Shannon Valley versus Penn Trafford, and Garnett Valley versus Holidaysburg. Let's check out our top five plays of the week for Valorant, starting off at number five. It's going to be Bucky1230 with a nice double through the wall with the bow and arrow thing. Not even knowing how he did it, but there it is. Their number five play. Moving on to number four, it's Garnett Valley's Frost with two nice snipes for the round victory there on round number 14. Moving on to three, it's Frost again. Check him out. Getting pick up a double there and another double. Two plus two equals four for the win there on that round, round number six. Moving on to play number two, it's gonna be Zivaru. There were two kills earlier, and there's three, two and three make an ace for Zivaru. And speaking of aces, check out this play for your number one play this week. It's Frost back at it again with the pistol only. Gets one, two, three, reloads, gets up there, four, five for the ace. Incredible stuff by Frost. Here are your final scores. Greater Johnstown 13-4 over Winbur and Garnett Valley. Hard fought battle 13-9 over Holidaysburg. I'm out. Hello everyone, welcome back to the eSport Company High School League Valorant Spring 2022 season. I'm so Dan, and hey, fresh off of Game Changers, guess who's back? It's Cute Noob, Cute Noob, welcome hey. back. Hey, <laughs> how's it going friends? Thank you so much for having me back. I'm so excited, I've missed you so much, Soab. I hope you didn't make new friends without me. No, I made a couple friends, they were great fill-ins, but there's nothing, there's, I can't replace you. But speaking of unreplaceable, we can't replace what's going on with the standings right now because the standings are pretty well set, but there's still, I gotta, I gotta catch you up on this because there's a lot of things to look at. I mean, you can kind of see that now things have shaken out in the standings, we've kind of got a little bit of a things, but the three games today are really important because we're going to see Moshe and Valley twice, they are down there at the bottom. All they need is a single win to keep themselves into... Uh, playoff contention. We're keeping the top eight, so Bishop Carroll kind of hanging on the edge here. Uh, and again, like just like that, Bishop Carroll is 0 4, so they are kind of hanging on the edge. If it comes down to that, we'll look to that. But uh, these games matter. These are the games that matter because after this, we go to playoffs and uh, we get some interesting things. And we are opening. Uh, let's jump over to that schedule there really quickly because it says we're opening with Garnet Valley and Penn Trafford. That's not the case today. That is going to be rescheduled. And we are seeing last week's game, uh, Moshannon Valley and Penn Trafford. Uh, in game one here. Ooh, that's, uh, we're going to get double Mo Shannon Valley today. I'm stoked. Mo Shannon Valley is a team that unfortunately uh, was last minute put together and we did kind of could see that through their gameplay, but I did see through the stats that they did better the yeah. following game. So I have a lot of high hope for them. I know Valorant is a game that requires time, patience, and a lot of communication. So I am hoping that they have definitely found that uh, out and kind yeah. of worked on it together in order to come back and, and beat Penn Trafford. Like you stated, they need this game or at least one of these games, these games yeah. to be able to get into those semifinals, which are coming up. Um, so right up, we're going to get this uh, first game going. We already what? have them down here. Um, what map are we going to go to? Well, let's take a look. I mean, we are going to go on over to, we're going to Breeze for this first game. 
Uh, banned. Bind was banned. Uh, yeah, Bind was banned. Say that ten times <laughs> fast. Uh, by Penn Trafford and Mo Shannon picks Breeze. Uh, they did have this was game one here, so maybe they feel a little more comfortable in that. And that's a good. That's a good, interesting choice for them. You know, they they the first game we saw them was on Breeze, so maybe they want to they want to run it back and get a little revenge here. Uh, but speaking of those teams, let's send it over and see who we've got today. Over on Penn Trafford's side, we've got Roasted Turkey, m a Gunzer, Doodle V, and Quarter. One or two new faces, uh, well, names in that lineup. But uh, Penn Trafford has been a very good team so far, so they are looking in the top three. Uh, they just want to look to get themselves a little better of a seed here. And, you know, they're bringing in some new talent. I like it. Yeah, and on the side of Moshannon Valley, we have um... – Esports one, actually, they they're, they're, they're going e by their um yeah. by their school name, so we're just gonna uh keep them at esports because hey, we're keeping the esports brand alive here. Um, but with that, you stated Breeze. Breeze is a map that they played before. What we saw the first time they played with Breeze was just a straight out Call of Duty Breeze map. Um, they just yeah. ran it down. They they bought whatever weapons they wanted. We saw a lot of fun gameplay. Um, but right now, this time around, I want to see them work a little bit more on team synergy. And like I stated, they did do a little bit better on that second week. So I am expecting them to have a little bit of a better team composition as well. Um, what agents do you want to see here? I think so. Like this is kind of a big uh this is a big map right like this map's pretty huge all things considered for those who haven't seen it in the passings for somehow uh but i mean like it's huge so you're probably gonna see the viper uh double controller in the like pro meta has picked up as an idea so there's a chance we see that but if i had to guess based on what we've seen from this week we're probably gonna see a lot of double duelist we're probably gonna see a lot of like jet reina still come out i think the viper still may be a viable pick but i do know that machine has been pretty consistent with that brimstone and with those buffs coming in it's still a very viable pick this is a big map you can section off and, and mm -hmm. take those picks uh what i'm very interested to see is what people look for in sentinels in this game because you have a lot of free reign so a chamber is not a bad choice but for the skill level especially on the side of a team like Washana valley who are sitting near the bottom you might want to just opt into something a little bit easier a little more free information like a killjoy you can kind of just let it back and just kind of wait it out uh, mm -hmm. Okay, well, we guys, I say we missed that scene, but it's okay. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's all good, and we've got a little bit of a mix of, we've got a little bit of a mix of everything, Sage and Cypher coming mm -hmm. out. I like the Cypher choice uh, from mm -hmm. that, uh, from O'Shannon Valley. That's a tough, that, I'm sorry, Double Sentinel. They are playing Chamber here, so that's very interesting. Uh, Omen as their Smoker is is a pretty good pick. It's going to be limited, so they're going to have to try to play a little bit, uh, you know, like those sight lines are going to be big. They may just be trying to cut off, like, the entry points only on that. The Yoru, this is a, a lot, like, this is interesting. We shouldn't pick a lot of high, I'm not going to say high skill, but there's a lot of like high requirements of like decision making. So I'm very curious yeah. to see what they do with this. Absolutely. And with the side of Pentrafford, I'd really like that they stuck with that pride and true viper um i do also like that sage pick to hold off of sight as we can see this um slow orb is gonna make mo shannon think twice about their choice going onto the site but the action is actually gonna start with esports four as they're gonna connect onto quarter quarter does get that kill as well as doodle v but now this rotation over from mid it's being held down by a cypher cage but the push through is going to happen and we are getting two kills off the bat but Emini is going to finish it off and say, hey, you're going to push this hall, but I'm not going to let you through. This is going to be our point coming out. I mean, this is significantly better already than the first showing on Breeze. So, like, A plus there. Uh, I like these changes that are coming in. The They're opting into kind of like these mid buys, which is very interesting. The shotguns being, like, a really aggressive take, but I don't know. I think they'll, they'll quickly kind of see for Moshana Valley that... It, like you just may not get the value like you have to get into range and sh and this team comp can rush and like get into range but the problem is is will they find will they just not get picked at the long range so i'm they're gonna rush though Spike yeah and then he finds the head of esports too and that's also the spike going down as well i love how now pen trafford is deciding to collapse onto the spike a lot of what happens usually is people get a little afraid of holding down the spike, but not Emini, because Emini is going to continue to push on through, doesn't find the success with that, um, I'm, I'm, I'm 
blanking on the name, but basically that single shot weapon. So decides yeah. to switch over to the pistol and then gets the kill. And Emini's on top as a Viper, something that you don't normally see, So Soeb. Yeah, you, normally your Viper is near the bottom to mid because you're so busy focused with the uh, smokes. But uh, no, this is no, this is the uh, aggressive controller plays. Everybody talks about the Bloodthirsty Sentinels. The, the Bloodthirsty controllers are really what you need to work on. Uh, very just a decisive control. I like so like let me flip some of Shannon Valley here for a minute. We've been shouting them out a lot, but uh, mm -hmm. the thing that kind of has been like they need to do a little bit more. You can see the cipher was looking for information, but they kind of just need to play a little safer. You have a lot of information from this team, so use it there. And they they did spot somebody, so they'll buy that quarter knows they're there. <sighs> They are already giving away their position. Careful it's going to be quarter with that first initial shot fired, not quite connecting with anyone, but does manage to tell the team, hey, guys, there's a lot of bodies over on this side. Can you scoot on over? And as we can see, Roasted Turkey getting that fight against Esports 1. But the Guardian comes out on top. The trade already being there through the enemy as well as Gunzer. Gunzer continues to push on through, says, hey, you get two, I get three. We finish them off easy peasy. Though I think the quick the quick thing we'll learn here is that we can't play these shotguns and they're they are seeing that we're we're opting to those guardians. Guardians are a good choice for those who can't necessarily aren't necessarily used to aiming or picking it up. Uh, so I like that. That's a good take from them. Uh, but meanwhile, Penn Trafford, you know, they've looked good at this initial season, so they are just carrying this on. Uh, if they can keep this going, you know, their economy's in a good spot. No ultimates on board yet, but like they are just going to keep this rolling, and they may not even need to see much of an attack. Oh, we're hoping that's not the case. I mean, something that is going to be happening, though, is going to be the full arm rush from this A site from Moshannon. They do, they have been a little successful. And when I say a little successful, they were able to get two picks off of Pen Chaffer, but are uh, already pushing through Hall. Oh. I like this Hall push as they continue to push on through Omen with that Guardian Spike able to connect. But Quarter A's. says, one is all you get. And now the bomb is left in Hall. That is kind of an oopsie daisy that we have seen kind of happen a little too much to Mo Shannon, which is they have the wrong person carrying the bomb. And yeah. uh, with that, oh. Esports 4 gonna swing right through, doesn't quite connect, and Quarter and Emini are going to finish it off once again. It was a good looking start. The the two picks there really opened it up right away. That should have been a call to just rush that point. Um, you basically cleared it off. The rotations needed to come through. The uh, the picks are falling. Like Moshannon Valley is making, they're making picks. They're getting that pressure. But again, like one of these games today has to be a W for them to stay alive here. Uh, or they just need to, because there's a slim chance that down the line, uh, they need, they can kind of win by rounds if they lose both games. But without the exact numbers in front of me, it's a big ask. So you either need to start, like you just kind of need to start getting the bomb down at this point. So like good steps, good looking forward, but they need to keep going. That's gonna be an early Viper all just to block that off. Spike down a. Oh man, the spike again, down Soab, down in Hall, a place where not even anyone is around. Actually, I should say, and uh, Esports 5 is in mid, but Doodle says it doesn't matter where you are. I'm just gonna take your life and, the collapses are becoming real from Pentapper. They are. They're you can tell they're communicating well. They're playing very effectively. They're saying, okay, we've got bodies here. They're recognizing that Motion Valley is, is usually just stacking. They're just usually taking all five and putting them there. So that's their call. They can then they just realize, oh, that we look at all the space we have free. We don't need to worry about, you know, a rotation. We've seen them pull some shotguns, you know, maybe a guardian or two. We can play it and just kind of rush to collapse those. But those communications and those calls from Pen Traffords have been huge. Uh, if Moshannon can get a little more value out of their utility, they can maybe get the spike down here. That's I think that's kind of your next step is just let's get better value out of our utility. We have this KO. Let's see if we can just find some information with it. Yeah, that's something that we aren't um, seeing is that, that use of util, just like you stated. But just as I say that, Ooh. it's the bait and switch coming out from the omen over onto a site. Bodies are still onto a. That cipher camera is going to reassure Emily that there is someone. The swing coming out from Emily is going to say, yes, cipher is here. The bomb goes down, but there's no one to hold the defuse down they're still over onto this safe site it doesn't matter they're just going to try to go for these kills emony securing the kill and the defuse happening on the other side of the map i wonder if they just think this is a kill only game 
Maybe I I think the call just was I think the call was I got the spike down. Let's just try and keep the pressure up because that is kind of an initial take you might try to see is uh, like okay we have spike down. If we know they're distracted over here and we can keep them gunfighting, maybe we can just get the bomb off. But you know it's it just didn't pay off. Like I said, like that could be a strat they're looking for. But I like the the advantageous decision there from the omen like that was a good play like a, like yes. the signs are there for motion valley there are like good thoughts there are good strategies they're just like not fully coming together so put, keep working at it keep trying this when you go to game when you go to the later game and maybe this will work out for you oh well guns is gonna keep going at it with the satchels and the showstopper taking down the bomb down, once again and the rest of mo shannon valley is over onto a site it's gonna be the cypher coming down from the tunnel to fight gunzer but gunzer's gun is blazing and continues to do so as they push on through cave quarter also capitalizing on that sage aggression able to take the 2k and now it is a 7 and 0 you stated this before so I have, we need to see some rounds coming from a shannon yeah and they are getting some like they have a couple picks they they have a little bit of economy like it's kind of coming and going but it's just not enough so i'm gonna um pivot for a moment we're gonna take a quick pause uh, i think but uh, we're gonna like i want to pivot for a minute because i want to talk about this comp coming out of pen trafford here uh the the initiator that they're playing here is breach which mm -hmm. I do like Breach as an initiator, but I don't necessarily like him alone as a solo initiator. This is a comp that doesn't really have a lot of information gathering. You're kind of dependent on whatever your Viper kind of gets or sees, and then whatever the Sage kind of shuts off. So, you know, if they take the wall out, that's kind of your information. Like, there's not a way to gather intel. So this is a very gun-heavy, like, they. this is a team that wants to take fights. They want to just engage immediately, and they feel confident in their shots, and it's it's showing for them that it's paying off. So I, I do think this is a good comp for them. I think, and this is why, you know, speaking to higher ranks, speaking to like the future, this is why you look to double initiator because you want something like a Sova, a Sky, something, or even a Cypher to give you that information, which Moshana Valley has that Cypher. They've used it to get a little information, not enough, mm -hmm. but, you know, for an aggressive uh, comp like Pen Trapper's playing, they are confident and they are, it is paying off for them. Yeah, I would like to see Mo Shannon be a little bit more aggressive with the Yoru. Yoru is a I am the best player in this lobby yeah. type of vibe um, because a lot of Yoru's kit is to be in the back line of the defenders or the attackers, whichever side you are on. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so I would like to see them just use the utility, just like you stated before, a little bit more. Something to know, yes, Mo Shannon is a very fresh team, a very uh, new team. So I think as you start, especially in Valorant, um, yeah. as you start new to the game, it could be a little bit overwhelming to learn how to use certain characters' abilities. And for sure, Yoru is one of those niche characters that you really need to put a lot of time and a lot of thought into how you use your abilities because his abilities are more ninja like i don't know if that's the word to use correctly but you have to be in the back line you basically have to be yeah. the trickster the joker if you may yeah. of the team um so yoru i think uh, a good thought for mo shannon especially with the scene composition it looks like they're just going for w key type of plays um especially with the utility of aggression like the mm. chamber chambers a really aggressive character as well you use a lot of his utility to one zone off the enemy and also get kills right with that yeah. uh toward the force and also headhunter it's all about eliminations with chamber and uh like you stated the the cypher they're just trying to get onto site at this point with yeah them. It, it, you you alluded a lot to what my thought was like all of these picks are, are very high skill. And that's not to say that they can't <laughs> handle that, but it's to say that it's to get the full value out of these kits as opposed to something like, uh, you know, like a Sentinel, like a Killjoy or even a Sage uh, is considered like a lower, you know, like a lower skill uh, a character. You know, an Omen is like a good, it's like a pretty mid choice for that, but mm -hmm. like Brimstone's technically considered the lower choice. Uh, Yoru is like, you were talking about it like it's just a high, there's a lot of high skill that Moshana Valley is like trying to make these tools work and just get value with but they just kind of you don't have it come play. together and Let's speaking of coming play. together there's the KO already 
Uh, roasted, already ready to roast that player out of the lobby. Now pushing okay. through is going to be Cypher onto this B site with the cage. I like this push with That's the cage. Play. Unfortunately, Poison though, off. that Poisonous Cloud is going to be holding them off. And with Ooh. that Doodle and the Operator are connecting their shots. So this is, this is it, right? Like, that was a good setup and a scheme, good use of all that utility. It kind of just wasn't, like, that, that step one is great. Those were all the good smokes, those were all getting them in. They were ready to enter site. Step two is aggress. Take yourself in, get yourself down, because you kind of don't really want to aggress with your Cypher. You want the Yoru to go first, you want the KO to do that. So, like, these pieces are there. I would love to, I can't wait to check in next season with Moshana Valley and see where they get to, because this is, like, you can see, like, the gears are starting to turn and those pieces are there. Uh, but, like, Penn Trafford's just the well-oiled machine right now. Uh, Quarter is, it, you know, the majority of the team of Penn Trafford has, has more picks. They have more kills. So it's like, Penn Trafford's just the well-oiled machine to Machan Valley's, like, Lego kit, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. And Doodle with the Operator has been a menace and continues to go on through. Roasted as well, able to connect the shots. Gunzer says, hey, it's my turn. Let me get this cheeky 2K. Esports 3 trying to stay alive. Uses that Yoru ult, but unfortunately, Doodle is already down mid, ready to collect that soul. And you said it. It's just Pen Trafford is just communicating so well, and their shots are there as well. They're hitting shots, they're communicating when they rotate, when they're finding out exactly where things are. You know, the knowledge and the, the this is a team that has the skill. This is exactly why Penn Trafford's in the top three right now. So, uh, you know, unfortunately, like I said, like Moshana Valley really could use a win here, but it's, the you know, with every round, it just looks so much more unlikely. So, you know what, chalk this one up, play, play for some picks, try to get some value, get yourself warmed up for the next game because uh, there's gotta be something, but that's not the pick you need. Spike down A. Oh, that, that's a pick, but on the opposite side. And Doodle continues to try to get some kills. Gunster says, hey, not all the fun for you. Let me get in on this party and not even with the showstopper, just the gun playing out. I, you know, and then so like, again, let's jump back to basics here. Five stacking works sometimes if you're going to rush in, if you're going to push aggressively, if you are you have util ready. But in those cases, you got to spread out. You, this is a big map. Use the whole map. So, you know, anybody watching, here's that here's that 101. You know, <laughs> make sure you use the whole map. Make sure you wait for information. Make sure you do that because uh, that's going to get you success. When Moshan and Valley pushed and took their time to, like, drop smokes, get some information, they looked, they looked like they were entering sites, and that's good. So now if they can continue to do that, uh, you know, it's something. But uh, Penn Trafford, oh, there it is. There's an early pick on a roasted turkey. Oh, but Yoru doesn't get the memo and runs right into sight without any blinds. Emini's already ready to get that 2K. Now quarter joining the party. Operator still being a menace down mid, and it's just the rest of Penn Trafford pushing out, getting those kills, and putting another point on Last the board. The yep, we'll close it out. It'll they'll, they'll likely close it out here, bring it to 12-0, and we'll see, see to the flip side. But um, I mean, there are here's the thing. So there are three. There's three ultimates on the board. You have a from the beyond. You might try that trick again. Uh, you have the cipher ultimate. You that requires getting a pick, uh, but it's there. And if you can, the KO ultimate is value right off the bat. Uh, like the KO ultimate really can stress and can tell you like that's a great way. You want to talk about a run in team like smash that smash that button and just send the KO in and just see what value you get. But they are playing aggressive here. Oh, I I actually feel really bad for Pen Taffer there. Um, yes, Emini is continuing her outrage over onto B site, getting that 3K, hunting for the four as it's the last man standing chamber in a dream. But Emini says 4K for the 12 point. Easy peasy. Switching sides. All right. So, uh. You know what? You've got double sentinel. You, if you set up your utility, you take it. You got the extra time for this, so get set up. Drop your utility. You know, prepare for this. Uh, Pen Trafford, like they have no reason. Like they, they can just rush. They can they can kind of play the game. They've just controlled the pace of the game anyway. So, uh, you know, maybe they'll sit here and play this out. And I like the idea of expecting that they are going to like rush this a little bit. So the shorty is a good choice from the cypher. It's gonna be a little tough, but uh, you know, B site's wide open. You gotta send somebody there. And uh, I like, again, like there. ideas are good, but you gotta, you gotta spread out. You can't just five stack. Cause for all you know, they're just gonna be right on B and you don't even realize it. 
Yeah, and it looks like it's gonna be a head-on collision as Gunzer's gonna push on through Ha, gets the pick on Esports 2, hunting oh, for the no. next quarter, and Emily are just creating chaos onto the actual site, and just like that, it's Esports 3 left alive, and now goes down Attackers to finish win. off this map with a flawless. Uh, unfortunately, Penn Trafford just looks, they just look like a strong team. It's exactly why they're, I think they're going to move themselves up towards number two now, actually, with that win. Uh, so, Ooh. you know, they are looking pretty good. Yeah, Penn Trafford going up 3-0. and um, We will see their other game later. So they're at least at a minimum probably going to be tied for second. Uh, may move themselves in second, but they're in a good seed right now. So if you're Penn Trafford, that's fine. You really want that. Uh, you're like you're you're very happy with that. You're you're more than happy with that because you're just gives you great seating. You're you are already guaranteed playoffs. But considering you have to look down Greater Johnstown at four and uh, you need to look ahead to that because that's going to be your biggest competition. So good for them. But, but we got another game. Like, let's move on. Wait, but that was done before we move on. So Ab, I have to say this. Go ahead, go. Emini went eighteen zero and two. Oh, I didn't even see that. Wow. Yeah. As 20 a viper. That's crazy. I didn't even see that. You're right. Quarter also combat, fifteen and zero. Yeah, with the combat score of three fifty. Wow. That I, I I think I've seen that number twice in my life, and that is that's crazy. Guns are as well sixteen two and zero, and quarter like you said fifteen and zero as well. That is some championship numbers right there. And you were saying yeah, yeah they're going to move themselves up to that second place, and well deserved after this showcase. Yeah, I completely agree with you. Um, but you know what? That one's in the books. It's done. Uh, what do we got for game two? Let's let's see the next. Let's see the next course here. T sell game me new. two. Let's see. We are going to be seeing Holidaysburg versus Somerset. Um, I believe they have previously played before. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I don't believe they should have. I think this is oh, the first kidding. time they should be seeing each other. But uh, you know, it's it's fourth and fifth. These are two middle pack teams. So okay. uh, both both could use the win here. Both would like both these teams are again going to go on to playoffs, but both of them could use the win to keep themselves a little better and holidaysburg's a little bit better at two and one and they've looked very good they kind of suffered a little bit uh coming in the in the previous weeks but uh you know this is a good this is looking good for them yeah and uh you said somerset is one and two if they yeah. were to win this they would be two and two um which would leave your mental feeling very well and also i believe put you above holidaysburg on that uh yeah. standings so you know, talk about a little boost of confidence to start off the playoffs. That oh, yeah. would be real nice. But before we get right into the game, I believe we're going to a break. Yeah, yes, we'll take a break. We're going we'll to right a break, back. so we shall be right back, folks. We hope you enjoyed your break, and we have two spanking brand new teams coming out. Holidaysburg versus Somerset, the fourth and the fifth team on that top eight. How yeah, do you feel about this? I mean, this is this is going to be an interesting match. Two of these teams both got stuff to play for. Uh, both these teams likely to have made it by the time this map is done, but seeding is important. So, uh, you know, it's, it matters to where this map goes. And speaking of where the map goes, we are going to bind. Split was banned by Somerset. So we will be going to bind and Somerset will defend first. And uh, I, it's it's too, like most, these teams have both seen bind. So it's hard to speculate what's going to happen, but this is li quite literally anybody's match. Yeah, we're going to get right into Agent Select. Who are some players that you want to keep an eye on throughout this match? So I think for for those who are just jumping in, uh, for on the side of of Holidaysburg, uh, man, there's not really like a standout. That team has just been playing very well as a team together. Um, Monopoly's come up big a couple of times, and V Snipes has looked very good. But most of that team has just played like a very unit. There's no standout. But on the side of Somerset, uh, and they are on the green this time. Uh, Hibui over there on the jet is a standout player. Uh, Got to keep an eye out for them. They they are likely going to be a big key for their victory here. Uh, so that's like kind of the big monster of this 
lobby for the time being. But uh, speaking of everything over there for the side, for the defend, for the attacking side, double smokes with the Brim and Vipers. And that's interesting. I, I mean, Brimstone does play a little bit more duelist right now, uh, but no initiator strikes me as maybe in as something you might want to have. have you might want to regret like there's so many walls you can't necessarily get information it's like a sova is really important here and not a sova to be seen in this lobby uh lobby but uh you know double <laughs> sentinel for the side of the defenders that's a little better but again like no information on both sides this is going to be a really uh basis this is going to be really moment to moment based on the engages here the two who comes out on top yeah a lot of gunplay a lot of utility is going to be what the key factors of this are going to be the fact like you stated no initiator no information i mean even the sentinel uh for the side of summer set is going to be good i mean the fact they have sage sage is very useful i was talking about this with you in the in the green room was the fact that it was kind of like sage can do some really good walls that could hold off and make and create different angles for um their team so i do think that the sage is going to be impactful especially on this defense side being able to hold off hookah and making the attacking side have to go through be long is going to create a huge choke point for somerset to hold off and uh, as we see a site is going to be the it site Yep, they will split there, and and not to mention the attack, but also defense uh, for that sage. Like the defense is going to be big for the attack too. But speaking of attack, there is that sage wall, and they are they're I'm sorry that viper wall. They are looking ready to attack. They are, but look at this Molly coming out from Ooh. your boy Zook, holding off this push and creating a little bit more time right for here. that rotation from Reyna, who, by the way, look at this Reyna, Malev already on the lurk, on the prowl, ready to get a kill onto Hookah. This smoke's coming out clutch as well. Oh. The rotation's gonna come out, but Malev, just like I said, already ready to collect the soul. Unfortunately, though, a 2v1 gets a little hairy, got back oh. out, but don't worry, my headshots are on point. Says Malev, looking for the second, but Interstellar, able to collect the soul of the copy reina says hey you know what you got one but i get the other and with that the rotation starts now it was a great play though like the damage is done and holidaysburg on this attack they they will get the plant down and you got to realize i say there it is the realization's coming in uh but they'll get this down um it's gonna be a tough ask but it will get down and now you just have to win and two duelists versus two sentinels is gonna be a tough play though because the, the sentinels have a little bit more power behind them Oh, I mean, Interstellar with that Sheriff says otherwise as they collect the soul of the jet. Now it's a 2v2 looking pretty nice for Holidaysburg, if you ask me, as now they just have to play time. But unfortunately, Eric the Great able to collect Interstellar v Snipes, ready to swing out. But 26 in the health bar is going to make it pretty hard to hold on through. Oh, no. Oh, the Jiggle okay. Peak now playing it perfectly goes back into lamps. The health is low. Glitching out has to push out, but says, you know what? It, things look a little too scary. Time has ran out a little too far. I'm just going to save my ghost. That was, you know, the, saving the ghost is, is a good choice. I don't I don't hate it considering you're going into save run. You might want it, but, oh, man, you should have. That's unfortunate they did it, that Somerset didn't press the attack there, the 3v2. You knew where they were going to be. You kind of had the ability to take that. Uh, I... I don't think you should have tapped Spike there. I think you had mm -hmm. the ability, like they didn't know where you were coming from if you were glitching out. So you have the ability, you know where they are. All you have to do is just peek that angle, find out where they are. And you had the tap and the defuse. A little bit of a misplay, but you know, it's still like one round is not gonna make the difference. It's literally round one. I'm being hypercritical. So let's yeah. get to round two and see what's going on. <laughs> Uh, yeah, with this is going to be the buy up round. Weapons are going to be on the side of Holiday's Berg. Um, and as we stated, that Reyna and the Rays are actually creating a little bit of a conundrum for the defenders. They're able to really output a lot of damage, which repositions these defenders. It's going to want to be a B hit as that Sage Wall gets thrown out. Look, that poisonous cloud flying across the map to create a whole new angle to be closed off for Somerset. It's a good lineup, and it's gotten some value when they've needed it. But the other part of this equation is that, like, they're they've thrown out these smokes and they've thrown out the utility to kind of buy their space in, but they haven't entered yet. They're still just they're hesitant. They're waiting for something of a point. 
Yeah, which is surprising because you do have the better weapons, right? You have yeah. the weaponry under your pocket. So go for it, and they're gonna do some output damage. And with that, these types are gonna Ooh. satchel onto site, able to connect with two, and now it's just left to just two. <gasps> Hibuki on the back line with that Marshall Eric the Great, also able to collect one, but Interstellar says, my Spectre's got it. 69 health in the bank, no problem. Damage was done to Holiday's Burger, though, so it's not like they're going to carry all of that in. You've, you've kind of hit their economy a little bit, but uh, the bigger problem is, is Interstellar having this Empress. That's already a great tool mm. to kind of keep this rolling. So uh, some more things in their favor, and Somerset now, like, we'll meet them at that half-buy. You know, it's the only ultimate on board. I, I You know, it looks to be in Holiday's Burger's hands, so, but they, this, is, this should be rifle round in theory, but because of how we're playing this, and how much is on the line we're pushing closer we're kind of edging a little bit more closer to the air of success and this a push is looking successful already with this wall down and all this information gained well, but the aggression coming out from Somerset on the defenders pushing into the back line of Market. They were going to once upon a time come across Reyna, but Reyna has decided, let me gather up with my crew. We're going to push this a site. They do push their way into site, the front of site, I should say, though. And oh, oopsie daisy. I hate it when that happens to me. Those satchels, I mean, those uh, paint shells didn't quite connect where they wanted to, but Monopoly is able to connect with two now just left once again with just two defenders for the side of somerset and they continue to struggle to retake together it yeah they just struggle like that's just what you that's just what it is there's so many smokes there's so much utility down on the site they're playing meticulously the pick will come from eric though and that that's one sign to start that's some value made Definitely, but there's four attackers still alive playing this post plant. That Viper's Wall is going to create this off angle to help out actually Eric the Great get Loki out of this map. The bomb Ooh. is ticking, and with that, that double kill coming out from Holidaysburg is going to secure that they continue to be successful onto this attack. Again, the I like the double controller look here, but again, with no way to tell any of this information, there's no, you know, there's no way to tell where they're com where the side of Somerset's coming from. They're taking advantage, and Somerset has no ability to uh, initiate these retakes, uh, ha ha ha, as it were. <laughs> so, you know, the the like aggression and the plays are good, mm -hmm. but the problem is is that they're falling short because they're just lacking this information and. The calls to like rotate, to come through, the information that's being passed is also a little slow too. So fix a couple of those things and Somerset could be a winning team right now. Oh, beautiful shot though. You talked about Hibui and now Hibui is giving you that fire. Oh. Able to connect with one, but Interstellar is locking that attack down. Maleb though with the ghost? Okay, we see you, Malev. We see what you can do. But unfortunately, once again, this it actually this is a good thing for Somerset. They are um, a two v two. They're able to retake together. Um, but that Viper spit. Oh man, that's gonna make it a whole new ballpark. Play from Loki to hold that utility. They know they could commit the brims uh, the other side of like everything else and just hold it until they got in. And now they ha you can't go into this. Uh, so as long as they can figure out where it is, Zook's gonna enter. We'll find him though. Oh. Oh my land, oh. Eric with the sneaky come around from elbow, able to finally find Eric the Great. And unfortunately, that was a really good play. So yeah. Ab, unfortunately, just it, it worked out in favor of Somerset. Yeah, was just looking, caught looking the wrong way. That's nothing you can really attribute to anything. You know, you that's just, you know, you got to be over your shoulder. You're the Viper in the pit. You literally have the ability to know anything around you as long as you're in it. And it just, you didn't turn the right way at the wrong time. So... Yeah. Uh, but it's a good thing for it's a good sign for Somerset. That's a, a good start for this defense. Two ultimates on the board. Uh, that I look at, I expect that chamber ultimate to be a value here eventually because they're pressing this B. So if the chamber can rotate quick enough, they'll get value on it. I'm surprised that Glitching Out didn't request an actual Vandal as opposed to keeping this Spectre. Um, like you stated, a Chamber had enough money for that Toward the Force as well as a weapon and then able to buy some more. So it's it's going to be that weapon disadvantage that might end up biting Somerset in the bum. But uh, actually, at the moment, they're just going to buy it enough time. Here. They did Gamble Stack over onto B, which is really good because that's where most of the uh, team for Holidaysburg is at. Yep, that will be the leers to kind of open it up and try to buy anybody out. They haven't figured out the brim sitting below them, but they'll they'll see soon enough. Oh, those nades didn't quite connect. No, didn't so get. Didn't get. 
That's so rough. Now spotted. There it is. Oh, but little do they know, there's already two members of Somerset in the back line, the Sage and the Reyna, but these snipes and Monopoly's weapons just hit differently. The nades go out, and Eric goes down as well for his boy, able to get this elbow connection for Loki. Now a 2v1, another pickle, another hill to climb for his boy. No, but he's got most of his utility, so he can make a, make a value of it. Oh, that's a showstopper, though. Whoa. Oh, the shot's coming in so big, though. It's just 1v1. As he was gonna see each other first looking the wrong way. Oh, Hibui to clutch that. Huge. You talked about Hibui and Hibui has gave it to us. So, uh, Ab, just that, uh, was that a 4K? I wanna say it was that a 4K was three almost. Four. Yeah, that was, that was at least three, probably closer to four, but man, that's some, that's some heroics. Hibui has come out on top with those heroics. Not even leading the board, mind you. Like, Eric Gray is, is sitting above that, but like, those are those clutch plays that has kept Hibui as like a top contender of this. I mean, if there is like an all-star game down the line, I don't know. I'm not in charge of that. If there <laughs> is, like automatically, that's like a lock pick, like just from this preseason alone. But mm -hmm. that, Havoui's going to have to keep those heroic efforts up here because it's two to three. They can keep turning this back, but it's going to keep more plays like that and better communication to keep the information flowing. Yeah, this, for the attackers, I would like for them to just uh hold back a little bit more i feel like they're hitting a site a little too hard and just like i say glitching out picking off interstellar that is already leers out of the map for holidaysburg and uh they're they're also a player down so they're gonna have to play a little bit more patiently waiting for those picks Habui though getting aggressive after feeling themselves from that last round they they like need but that's the thing is they need to play aggressive because they don't necessarily know the information all they can do is just trying to guess you know, you could jiggle peek and try to see who shoots at you. But other than that, like, you don't really have a way to tell, is this, you know, just stacked and should we commit to this other than just to drop some smokes and just go in and hope for the best. But it looks like we're going to get the lurk around coming out from these snipes on this A site. They are going to paint shell <laughs> the teleporter to try to open that door up for their teammate. But unfortunately, it doesn't go as planned. But these snipes is going to lurk their way into lambs. They're going to get spotted by that trademark, which tells Chamber, yo, you got to come back here. Do not commit over onto this left. B site. And with that, the bomb also rotates over. It's going to be the peak from Eric the Great to, to take Let's down play. Loki to at least five health and a dream. But the double swing from showers is going to take out Eric the Great. Toward the force is out to party. And now a retake for Somerset. Down. It's four to three. It's not impossible. And make that three to three. It's even now. They're figuring out where these members are and they're getting the value. But Snipes is not having any of that. So we'll get out of there. We'll see in the event on the corner. Caught looking. Malib will turn that back. But they still got to get on the spike, though. Last player standing. Oh, Loki, so low on health. And Hibui with that 2K able to once again clutch it up for uh, Somerset. Bringing it to a tied match. It's back and forth. We're playing ping pong here, so happy. Yeah, it's close, but Hibui is really 8 HP in a dream right there. You gotta you gotta give it to him. That was a snap, snap kill there because caught the one almost 180 and then caught the other one. So now if you're now if you're Holidaysburg, look at this. You know, Hibui's started to come alive, so you gotta put more pressure on him. Keep him down. Eric has been looking good also, but really has been just kind of left alone to hold these sites. Put some pressure on Hibui, and suddenly you can kind of get this lead back and get in control. It's rifles, so uh, you know, this is kind of the moment for everybody to go and two to three ultimates. It, there's a little bit of everything. So it really depends what gets committed in, these, in this ultimate toolbox to see where this match is going to go. The hunt begins. Something's really picking at my side, but I'm not going to talk about it. I'll come back to that point as the Leer comes out onto this garden. The boy, though, using that smoke to his advantage, oh. able to swing and get two. That's going to be detrimental to Holidaysburg. But finally, you asked for the boy to be shut down, and Monopoly has finally done it. Now, with 3v3, there is smokes on both sides. So if they decide to re-hit another site, I don't think it'll be a problem. Actually, with that... The Brim Smokes have committed over onto this B site, so they're gonna have to commit onto this site. Malep, though, holding the elbow push, Ooh. but it doesn't matter because Snipes and Monopoly were able to connect and continue their lead once more. Yeah, again, if they can they can kind of play and pressure Hibui, they can just get control of this and put it back in their way. And 
Snipes has looked good on that. Snipes and Monopoly, again, uh, just have come up. They didn't have, they only committed two of those three ults for the side of Holidaysburg. So they have this Brimstone, this uh, this Orbital Laser. But the question is, is you know, it, it's better saved for a post plant at this point. So get it down, use that to your win condition and just give this up. And uh, I mean, I see Loki running with a shotgun. So I'm very curious to see if that sticks because oh. what's the play there? Like, are you just going to try and catch someone off guard? They're gonna try to do something, all right, as they're gonna do a split push. It's going to be Sage in the hookah area that might get spotted, actually does not, decides, you know what, let me back out, put this wall, and make them relocate their push over onto a site. Um, but one thing I want to talk about, Soab, is the fact that it looks like Somerset isn't really playing as a team because they're not getting their economy on track. No, and they're... End up... Oh, sorry. No, you're good, you're good. Uh, you're right, though. Their economy isn't necessarily in the best of shape, and it's it's kind of just been hoping that someone pops and then buys and gets enough for everybody else. But they got the spike down. Oh, that was way early up that orbital laser. We'll find one, though, so that's some value. Yeah, the leader coming out, gonna swing on. They know someone's near the bomb, able to connect, but these snipes and uh, Interstellar able to connect, and now it's just two left for the side of Somerset, that operator on the hands of Hibui. But it's an operator, and you might not want to overinvest it. You might want to save it out. You know that huh. you are overran by just two more man advantage on the side of Holidaysburg. <laughs> and actually, you know what? It's going to yeah. be glitching out who peeks out. But yeah, he believes, says, you know, this looks a little too hairy. I'm just going to bounce out of here. Yeah, you, that's probably the smarter play, considering that's the most expensive thing you could own. Keep that safe uh, and just get out of there. You do have your ultimate for Hibui, so like you're good for a couple rounds, but the question is, what does the rest of your team look like? And the rest of your team is in a tough spot. So you have to, maybe you force to a half buy, but it's not looking good. Malib is kind of debating, do I want to go? Do I want to commit in? No, the rest of the team's going to half buy. It's, you're, this is where you're going to have to look to those ultimates to really come in big here because you have Empress, you have you have a Resurrection. You may have to commit both of those into this round to try to get, keep yourself in for Somerset. Um, but let's, you know, the, because you're losing grip here. You're just losing grip. And that's an early pick for Hibui, and that's, yeah, the, they're, they're going to ready to turn it back now. Good save. Yeah, Hibui says losing grip. Check this out. So ab, but the smokes, the brim smokes coming out are going to hold off this push. I like the aggression coming out from Holidaysburg. They don't care that there's smokes. They're gonna put some smokes down for their own and actually bait out the site. Talk about the high IQ, but Eric, Eric lurking about, is going to capitalize on oh, this take rotation. That Please take that pick. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh goodness, I thought that was just going to get away, but this rotate is suddenly getting cut off. They've Somerset has made it in time. Yeah, just two men on the side of Hollidaysburg. It was looking nice and shiny as they made the rotation, but unfortunately when you don't check your corners, you get caught out, and this might be the case for... Last player standing. I was going to say Interstellar as Interstellar gets caught out by Eric the Great. And then Hibui just getting that 3k to continue to buff up those stats. And with that, that's some free weapons for Somerset there. Yeah, that's this is exactly the run they needed because now they don't even have to spend their economy a little rough. But pretty pretty still okay overall. Glitching out is going to kind of have to, you know, force it a little bit. You could probably have Malib buy, but that would throw, you know, it's going to throw it off worse. And... It's, it's somebody's a gotta buy yeah, somebody's <laughs> gotta buy there because like you kind of need to go full rifles you have ultimates in your favor but you kind of just need the full rifles to keep this going and you've you've dumped into holidaysburg's economy but not enough to really set it back so you know keep the pressure up but be willing to commit that economy you have to kind of you're on the razor's edge keep playing to it yeah that's something that i'm not seeing sage do or somerset do as a team is really talk about that economy um might be something that they uh, don't have a full grasp on but what they do have a grasp on is the fact that it b site is once again the desired site coming out from holidaysburg they continue to hit it so far this time though they're going to be hitting it together as a team from hookah yeah but again if they check their angles if everything looks good you can get that but paint shells to clear it out and that's gonna be their entry point is probably waiting for one of those pieces of utility to hit to just to try to give them that they're yeah. looking for the b snipes is looking for an entry point but it's probably gonna be a couple of blast packs there it is there's a hellfire too Ooh. 
the orbital strike gets committed, does not connect. It's Hibui and your boy Zook who actually come out on top. And the bomb, the bomb is in no man's land. Yep, that was, again, I, I don't, I, I get the idea of wanting to commit that, that orbital laser to try to maybe like buy some space and create some chaos to get into. But that was, I think you wanted that for post plant. Like, I think that was kind of a misuse there. And Hibui's just left. got this angle down. So you have to, you have to double swing that. That's the only way you're going to take Hibui off of this angle. Haboy is a madman. The fact he keeps speaking the same angle, he's got a death wish, and unfortunately, I guess, uh, Holidaysburg doesn't want to give him that death wish. Says instead, let me try to hold another angle and see Ten if I can left. capitalize on it, and Malev just like that goes down. And I like this choice by Holidaysburg to save. Yep, that's a smart choice. Your economy is running out. You're running out of options, and Somerset is picking up steam. This makes total sense. You can kind of regroup, look again, and say, what do we need to save? What do we need to commit? Is this a time to start dumping some more of our ultimates into this? You have a showstopper, you have a Viper's Pit. It would be very tempting to just kind of dump the Viper's Pit onto A and get yourself in and get spiked down. And I think the restraint that Holidaysburg needs to is to make sure they get the spike down and then commit that so that they can just completely control that to swing this back in their favor. Um, you know, hubui has been holding on to these knives for a, a couple rounds now, hasn't needed to use them. Uh, but like, thankfully now that they're, now that Somerset's economy is back together, they're just looking good. And he's going to play this aggressive angle. I like it. It's, it's a bold angle, but it works for him. They have also gamble stacked this A site, and guess a. what? That is the right call as the spike goes down. Unfortunately, that Viper peaking a little too early. Uh, little side note, always let your duelist peak, peak first. They're, they're the ones that are supposed to open up the site for you, but Hibui and Maleb are the ones going to be collecting some souls here now. Left to just two again, and Hibui going to get aggressive with the operator oh. because every shot has connected and continues oh. to do so to end off that six five with the flawless that's that's Last really the key to the uh putting somerset back here right like they've we watched them in these initial rounds they kind of struggled a bit once hibui got this operator in hand there's been it's been just been full gas right mm -hmm. he's just been going no one's ever been able to put a stop to him and no one's really challenged him either they just they've tried to but he's just kind of outplayed them uh but like you said uh new like You've got the ultimates. You can't let Loki, you can't poke first. You got to let, you got to wait. Especially when you have that ultimate, you kind of got to let your duelist go first. You got to play. You can't be impatient. This is a game of patience, but uh, patience is a virtue. And Hibui will uh, oh. have to do a couple different guns for this, apparently. That Sage Wall going to be popped through. Going to even buy enough time for that... Uh that robot not to connect with Hibui and Hibui holding off, popping off the blade storm. If they double swing him, he might have to pull those out. He does see one able to connect, looking for the second, but the Whoa. blade storm just looks different. Operator now in hand, looking for this third, but does not connect. Has to go back to the vandal because has the weapons to choose. Remaining. It's glitching out, helping a friend, able to connect with Z Lock, and now Reyna is running, running very, very far away does take one out that's something i mean it doesn't really matter at this point it's end of round but you know that's that's just impressive i mean hibui has just been juggling will eventually get punished but no spike in hand oh there's the shot uh the brimstone from the back line was not what i was expecting that was not my bingo card so um a good half though for somerset to really keep that defense strong this is it's very easy to let attackers just kind of run away and take an advantage here considering how you know just how little you really need to take of a site, especially like A, uh, to get in. You know, A, both of these sites, these sites, you can kind of just get in, take a little corner, drop spike, and then just defend it. So, uh, good on Somerset, and they have some better tools to attack with here, including that Sage Wall for glitching out. So keep an eye on glitching out to be a key component for a lot of these plants to get the spike down here. Yeah, also another thing that I was surprised is and, and, and how much of an impact not having a initiator makes especially when you have a jet with an operator if they were to have a sky you could disposition the jet um and we'll come back to this point afterwards because the action has already started onto this a site it's gonna be hibui entering into lamps dispositioning interstellar and taking control of that front site loki says take control let me see how i can help my team v snipes also able to connect onto brim so no smokes on the side of the attackers and also with that Eric the Great also goes down. Yeah, but the, so the most important things there are like everything's down. You can get spike down. You have Sage Wall available. Just drop wall, get out. They are going to get out all the way to, to B, though. 
Uh, and it, it, they will get spiked down here, but I feel like you at that point, you just drop the Sage Wall and just get there because you've gotten the value you wanted to. Now there's going to be a rotate come through. Their utility is already set up here, so you kind of they kind of have an advantage and a numbers. It doesn't look good for Somerset, but it's not impossible. It is not. Unfortunately, the Sage does not have the wall and is going to get aggressive oh, onto Andy. Brimmy. Interstellar switching out the teammate. Now it's left to Hibui. Had the clutch gene remaining. before. Oh, no. Able to find it maybe right now. Oh, yes, sir. No. Right click hits different. That was. Oh, that was. That was beautiful. That's put that in a picture and frame that. That was. You want to talk about how to peek and how to just get those shots and like draw that? That's a beautifully executed jiggle peek twice. Just absolutely played the mind game and won it there. Uh, I mean, have we at twenty one and six? It it shows right. This is exactly why uh they're looking at the top of this and why somerset is slowly pulling away but uh you know i you know i guess i believe heard me because i said they kind of struggled in these pistol rounds and wanted to prove me uh wrong noob so uh shame on me i guess oh and i'm surprised that uh, somerset has not decided to fully buy up they're looking mm. for that uh they're saving up for that full ak yeah. round um but these snipes taking out the chamber no longer gonna be able to have that headhunter or um, even the trademarks available to them. So they're gonna have to really hold post plant after they plant. That Sage Wall is definitely going to be helping, but the push from uh, Interstellar gets caught out by Maleb. You talked about Maleb and that shotgun, and that's why exactly why Maleb has picked up that shotgun to be able to get those close encounters, able to get two with it. And now Monopoly with a shorty, trying to make something happen on this short, does connect and able to take one. The spike doesn't get picked up though. Spike didn't get picked up. That's so tragic. They were trying to beat that out and try to get that through. And now suddenly they have the the most arduous of tasks to come through. And Hibui with Sheriff in hand is in 58 health. Uh, no information has to play this out. So let's trust their instincts to be pretty good because Monopoly's got that shotgun and is ready. One enemy oh! That was right to the belly too. That, that, oh. You need to see it. 30 seconds oh, left. That's painful. It's so much of an ask here for the Brimstone. It's just... They, there's nothing to save, but you got to make the play. Oh, no, you didn't check Zook. No. The corners are important, folks. V Snipe says, if you would have checked me, you would have had me, but you didn't. So now you lose and you give me a point for my team. And uh, I kind of get why um, they lost that. Like I stated before, they didn't do that bonus round that usually yeah. happens after you win a pistol round which allows you to take that third lead. Mm -hmm. um, and now it's going to be more of a janky buy coming out for them. As you can see, they're going to have those specters. Uh, it looks like Bazook is going to have to go down to that. Um, oh, I was going to say pistol, but no, actually. No, and buy up. We're going to play into the smokes this round. We're going to play close, close range and hope they push aggressively. And Monopoly is doing just that, trying to buy some space and push aggressively themselves. But we'll see what happens because they are they are key to get value here. Oh my goodness, Monopoly! Trying to find a third spring through the smoke doesn't connect, but does have spike. So that is going to be a huge advantage for Holiday Saber. That is a, a incredibly good use of controller play. Like you want to talk about what you should be doing when you're playing a controller? That is an excellent piece for that. Well done, Monopoly. You've hit the you've hit the box cars. Keep it up. You can bring this home. Oh, I just hope they don't over peak. They have the spike. All they have to do is hold it together. 11 health on spike. Z lock oh. with the flank. And easy peasy clean up town. It's a flawless for Holiday Bird. And now it's going to be one point away from an even match here. Once again, uh, you know, we're punished by not having initiators. All it would have taken is a sky dog or something. You could have even, you know, like KO knife that would have given you exactly where you would, you would have forced Brimstone to back out. And suddenly that doesn't look so scary. And, you know, that's that's kind of rule number two. If rule number one is check your corners, rule number two is don't walk into smokes because you never know who's there. Spray them first. That's true. Or use the leer. I feel like a lot a of people. Yeah, a lot of util is not being used for either side. I mean, yes, they don't have that initiator, but you still have leers, you still have blinds, and that's what's going to capitalize. It's going to be V-Snipes, though, using his utility to be able to pick out some players from the side of Somerset. And now Man Advantage is on the hands of Somerset. Uh, sorry, uh, Holidaysburg. 
sees the shoe there, we'll find him, but that's a great one way from that smoke, so a good use of the Viper Utility. Showstopper coming in, doesn't oh. catch a buoy though, that's, that's, ooh, that's rough. We'll eventually get traded. Yeah, Loki says, hey, you didn't get him, but don't worry, friend, I got him. The power of friendship. Team play is big. Team play is what it's at. And Somerset right now has been kind of struggling on that front. They're just kind of making these aggressive single person plays and getting punished for it. But the rotate will come through. And again, Eric is just going to hold back, try to get some value. Knows they're coming, but uh, you know, there it is. We'll, we'll eventually try. They're going to play for these picks aggressively. I don't like that. Just keep rotating. One enemy remaining. Oh, they're going to swing Spy Monopoly with a. that Toy Story Phantom there. By the way, that's a really nice I, I wish that. I would have bought it. Yeah, I, I wish I had bought that. I wish I had bought that instead of my glitch pop. I, I really like that one. It does get caught. Ooh. Wait, hold on. Okay, it's a flawless for Hollis Aisberg, who now takes it to an A8. But how dare you? The glitch pop is fantastic. Look, look, I love my glitch pop. Don't get me wrong, but like, there's just like, there's just the cool unwrapping effects. You know, there's just That's the cool true. extra stuff. Like, it's just, it's not strictly better, but it is slightly better. But speaking of better, uh, Monopoly has gotten the better on the Brimstone here. You can kind of see it 12, 6 and 12 for your boy Zook, who has just been kind of falling short with Brimstone. Like, Monopoly is definitely, again, like a player you need to keep an eye on for when it comes to, like, controllers, is making masterful use of these smokes. Okay. It's really a, it's really a credit to that team on Holidays. Oh, it looks like Ibui heard you, so I'm gonna spray through the smoke just to make sure they don't get caught slipping. But Monopoly still roaming around gets caught up by Maleb and an Ares. Remember when Ares used to be such a terrible weapon? Oh my gosh, I still bought it when it was bad, but now it's actually just good. And speaking of good, that's a good entry uh, with those smokes down. So now they'll be in, they'll have sight going into this, and it'll get down, and they'll have an advantage for Somerset. Now they just need to maintain it. Oh, they do have the blades. Uh, I'm sorry. They do have a couple of util in their back pocket. You have the snake bites. As Loki gets that first initial pick onto chamber, a snake bite goes out to disposition. Ooh. These like swinging through a satchel in the back pocket if they need to re uh, assess their hit. But now there was a man advantage once upon a time for Somerset. Now it's just down to a glitching out who has to push out. But Interstellar says. Go back to where you came from. We're going to get this and defeat. Yeah, they'll make it in time. I, I kind of I, I kind of like the double play. That was good to use the advantage there. And Again, this is just back and forth. These teams are just going to keep trading like this. And thankfully, they're being smart for the most part with their economy. It's going to force Somerset into like a half buy, maybe a full force if they if they really need to. But Ibui has, has Bladestorm. Uh, Eric has that tour de force. So they may like they can save and kind of like just use their alts and kind of win that way they may they may look to do that but it looks like the half buy is what they're going to agree on and i think that's a fair choice yeah i like that i mean you can use the blade storm also the toward the force as well going into this Ooh, round play, and then next play. round you just buy out and be nice and comfortable yeah. especially if you can secure this round what i don't like is the fact that they have continued to uh full-on push a site yeah but i, I guess the boy says I, if I can get Z-Lock out of the way, we're okay, but friends, check your corners. Eric the Great able to check that corner and get that kill onto Loki. And now the mana advantage is on the side of Holidaysburg, but this operator in the hands of Interstellar is making me a little bit nervous, especially since there is no shower control. Oh, and the spike hasn't even gone past. Spike hasn't gone because... down. That's the thing, yeah. Like, the spike never went down. <laughs> like, all that, all that, that's the thing that's kind of killed me about Somerset, is they commit all these resources in, and they get value. And then suddenly, like, the, everybody's looking like, where's the spike? Why is it not down? And Monopoly's just going to punish him for that, because he he can. He's just going to open that up, try to get it, but and and not get punished for it. Oh, and that's a huge pick on the left. No more blinds for the side of Somerset. They do have smokes, though. One smoke remaining on the hands of Monopoly uses one to kind of push his way onto this site. Actually, two to push their way onto site. And they have not found anyone. They're going to try for this sneaky defuse just to get someone to reposition or oh. show their way. But Eric the Great, through the smokes, able to connect. And now it's all down to Interstellar might decide to yeah. yep gonna decide to hold on to that operator because an operator is very impactful and also it costs a lot so if you can save it and just hold on to the next round 
Hollidaysburg's economy is still nice. Um, they can full buy next round, so they're, they're oh, not going to be too Oh, no. <laughs> they know. They know he's there, so um, they're going to try and just beat that. Nobody will get out. Uh, but yeah, great, great play from Somerset to get that down. Again, like, I, I'm going to critique them there because they, they did it, but like, they committed so much utility to like, creating the chaos and getting in and entering and then everybody's kind of like well where's spike why is it not down no one's you know like like something in the communication is getting a little bit off but they are getting the value from these plays so it works out in their favor it does also buy them the chance to kind of rotate but with no utility to then get the plant down they kind of just have to hope it's left empty uh it's a little bit of a miscommunicate for side of somerset and it's it's not they're not getting punished for it but that's like the thing you got to clean up, right? So Holidaysburg needs to continue to punish these mistakes if they're going to keep this game alive and turn it in their favor. Well, these snipes is going to be the one getting a little cheeky onto this garage, this shower area. Going to use that Boomba to help disposition the enemies. As they continue to push on through Higui with that kill onto the Viper, no more Poisonous Cloud, no more Toxic Screen. I, I feel like that's going to really hurt Holidaysburg um, on the defense, not being allies. able to actually, um, you know, hold them off site completely. They do have the smokes, but it's already that full rotation coming out. It might be a relocation for Somerset if they find out that everybody is onto this A site. They, well, no, I, I wish they had a dart to tell them that or something, but I think <laughs> the call's coming in from Holidaysburg to maybe send someone along, maybe figure that out. Chamber's gonna peek, but Hibui's laying in wait. Let's see if he gets punished for peeking and trying to get that information so it looks like the clear the clear call is coming in um but it's four to four and like you said like all there is is this brim smokes on the side of holidaysburg so <gasps> if if monopoly plays them right they can win but the counter rotate back 30 it's just going to be a standoff for the for a little bit here Oh my goodness, Soab. Had Interstellar just peaked a little bit higher, he would have seen the uh, tip of Hibui's gun, but unfortunately, it is Hibui who catches Interstellar slipping, and now the re rotation coming out from Holidaysburg is going to come a little later. They don't have any smokes. They only have that stem beacon, um, and on the side of Somerset, they have the Sage Wall if they decide to use it, but it's going to be a full-on rifle shootout happening onto this site, and with four men alive, that's going to be an economy boost for Somerset. Yeah, uh, a big boost at that, and especially one that can help them clear that lead because they'll keep most of their guns. They'll have a pretty decent if they even if they lose. Uh, Zoo can get bought if need be if armor comes up short, which doesn't shouldn't, but. Uh, you know, Holidaysburg now suddenly has to stare at this and go, all right, is this a force? Do we commit? What do we commit into this? You have three ultimates. You kind of need to give the reign of the full force to get value of Empress. Loki's been holding that Viper's Pit for a while. So, you know, getting into a site's less the problem. But, you know, th there's tools there, but they have to make them work if they're going to keep themselves alive. But that's a tool for uh, your boy Zook to come up big with and pick Interstellar. Oh, the paint shell's gonna disposition him, oh, but wow. not to the right position. Actually, towards the kill. Oh, the boom bot somehow gets past the buoy. Does some damage, but don't worry. Sage is nearby to heal them up. And now, once again, they're down to just a two-man retake for Holidaysburg. They do have some smoke since... Uh, actually, no, they don't. Brim actually used all of the smokes at the entry, and now they're just left with the shotgun pushing on to CT. A very tall order for these two players. Does spot another gun, gonna try to get to it, but I think this is gonna be a little too late. But these smokes, you know, that's kind of the other problem with this is that uh, for the side of Holidaysburg, they have all these smokes, they have all this utility, but they kind of end up playing, you know, like, like hurting each other by doing this, right? Like Monopoly's putting on these great smokes, but they're only great when you don't have an operator who needs that sight line. Uh, or they're trying, you know, like there's like a miscommunication of what are we trying to do at this moment? Do we need to block off sight lines? Do we need to create ourselves an entry point? And a little bit of miscommunication of intents uh, is what's kind of holding Holidaysburg back for a moment. And now it's going to be a force. They're going to have to force this. They know it's kind of on the line uh, because this is where it starts to, starts to slip away. And it, it, this, this needs to be a big round for them. They need to commit these ultimates and they need to come up big here. 
Yeah, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the force up, especially since the last round will be the last if they lose this. So they have put themselves in a must win scenario. They have to win in order to continue to fight on for their life. Um, and I love this repositioning coming up from Chamber. Unfortunately though, it's going to be uh, Habui who's going to collect that kill. And now the retake is going to be a little bit more impossible, especially since they do not have the raise boomba or the paint shells to help them um, kind of reposition the attackers. It's going to be the blade storm coming out from Hibui, who's definitely feeling themselves. But Interstellar says, sit back down. I'm going to hold on lamps and pull, pull out this Empress as well. Oh, dude, they're, they are committing everything. They know this needs to happen. And there is, speaking of everything, the counter everything is coming out too. But the spike is still there, and it's a great... It was a great play to try to clear that out and try to buy that, but uh, they will get the spike defuse and that's going to be the pit. So now suddenly, is there even time, Noob? Can There's they get it? There's no time. There is absolutely oh. no time. And Interstellar thinks there is and gets caught by your boy Zook. And now match we are down point. to the match point. What is it that really shifted the momentum for Somerset here, Soeb? I, I feel like it was a combination of like the side swap, which this this composition it like it, it looks like it should be more defensive, right? You have double sentinel, but these are both very aggressive sentinels. Talking to the fact that Hibui just has again come back to life, like has just kind of come into the stride. This isn't Hibui from round like two, three, four. This is almost a 30k for him. He's come up big here, and they haven't been able to shut him down. They've kind of just been Holidays has just been kind of struggling to find ground of even getting a pick and then getting value of it. Again, the pick, like it's easy punishments like that for Interstellar that have just kind of caused them to slowly lose grip on this. Oh, yeah, and with that, I also, like, always, it's Somerset always getting that initial pick, as you mm -hmm. can see. It was Interstellar the one going down this time, but before, it's Loki, and it when you get Loki out of the map, you get that Toxic Strain out, mm -hmm. you also get the, the Poisonous Cloud out of the way as well, and you don't have to worry so much about getting that um, damage put onto you. Um, but Monopoly, Monopoly's gonna be Ooh, on a hunt, fall. and the hunt is onto this Hoota position. The Orbital Strike comes out, Last is able to connect standing. with Hibui, and now it's looking a B. lot better for Holidaysburg. I just hope they do not take these 1v1s. No, they have the advantage. You press the two, you wait and you play Spike and you play the 2v1, and that's how Holidaysburg keeps us going and brings us a 10, 12, 10, right? This is all they do. They wait for the chamber to come in, try to press the advantage. There's no utility that they can really use to do anything. So left. play smart, play safe, and you'll get it, you'll get the win there. There's there it is. There's the pick. Great play from B Snipes just to wait, be patient, and get that. And they're still alive, noob. There's still a chance that Holidaysburg can do this. But the economy for Somerset is like it's not in the worst space, right? They can buy for Hibui, who's been kind of forcing this op. So again, you're like, they're in like a good spot. That's a good start. But Holidaysburg has just been forced, forced, forced. They know it's kind of moment. Like this is the moment they have to make every moment work. But eventually their luck's going to run out here because they have no ults. And um, Malib has the only Empress. Like that's the only ultimate on there. All it takes is uh, some value with that Empress to suddenly swing this back to Somerset to close this out. Oh, I do not peek, do not overextend to the side of Holidaysburg if they want to continue to stay alive. And just oh. like I say that, these snipes getting too aggressive. He's done that play over, over, and over again and has been caught out twice before. Loki, though, able to connect with glitching out. Oh, no, no longer a stage wall or heals, but Zook taking out Interstellar is going to make it even harder for this raid three take as the man disadvantages on their side. But Zelox sees Chamber as well as the Reina. But unfortunately, Eric, the great shots are just too clean. And now everyone is dropping oh. like flies, so Ab, with that. Win. That is game for Somerset. Somerset just was able to create this advantage and force the chaos. They were able to enter and initiate. And just like you said, it's early picks that just led to Holidaysburg kind of falling one at a time. Pick would come in, they'd start to panic a little bit. Uh, and, and eventually they would just start to need a snowball. It does help that Hibui dropped 30. I mean, 30 and 14 is, is two to one. So that's really like, let's not discredit that. Uh, mm -hmm. But that is to say that the play from Somerset was just more, it, they just kind of came out on top again and again and again. They would enter, they would take aggressive stances, granted without information and not necessarily just kind of know that, but their reaction times would be better and it would work out in their favor. 
Yeah, I think also another thing that led to Somerset's success was the fact that Hollisburg kept hitting a site and forcing it, even yeah. though they were being held by by Util. And they also mm -hmm. continued to hit a site that Hibui was on. And when you know that a player is popping off, especially a jet with mm -hmm. an operator, you have to really hit another site or disposition the operator, overwhelm it some way, somehow. Yes, you do not have that initiator to really let you know where that jet is but you can really gather information jiggle peek something um maybe have your reina lear onto site to kind of give yeah. you some more information and that's something that i would like for um summer or holidaysburg to work yeah. on is really dispositioning an enemy that's causing you a lot of pain especially to hitting a site yeah. so with that it's going to be somerset moving on to i believe that second, that second place also. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Somerset will move. Well, Somerset will move. They were five, they were two and two, so they will move up uh, to tie to, ties Holidaysburg because they're both two two now. So they'll be mm -hmm. approximately third fourth place. Well, yeah, it kind of depends on what happens with Penn Trafford when we see them a little bit later and find out their results. So I, again, like these, you know, but but it, it kind now it's kind of looking at rounds for their seating. So uh, you know, a big a big win for Somerset. That's that's a big morale boost for them. Yeah absolutely definitely going into the final so with that we're going to take a break we're going to be bringing back mo shannon valley versus forest hills this is a uh they were supposed to play last week but now they yeah. have to play this week so that's what we're going to see go grab some water go grab some snacks the party ain't over just quite yet Welcome back, and we are here with the final match of the day. We have once again Mo Shannon Valley versus Forest Hills. This was a match that was supposed to be played previously, but we snuck it right in because we're ninjas like that. Um, and how do you feel about this matchup, Oki? Sorry, Soab. I was thinking of Oki because he's our it's producer. Okay. No, it's he's, okay. Uh, in the I would also love to hear his thing, but we can <laughs> only will be able to hear it. So, I mean, I am, I am, I'm so torn new because like i want mo shannon i want mo shannon to win here i want them to go into playoffs <laughs> i want this to be the little team that could uh but i know this is a tough ass forest hills is a it's like a mid-tier team they're, they're like they're like tied fifth with they were tied fifth with somerset so they're a couple ahead of them uh they've got a win in their pocket already so it's a already tough ask uh but i don't write off anything anything is possible uh but what is possible is where we are going so we are gonna go on over to split not split. You're going to Haven. They banned split. We're going to yes. Haven. That's what it is. Yeah. Um, we haven't actually haven't seen split here now that I think about it, but we're going back to Haven. And I like that. I like this. This is like a good double Sentinel comp. This is a big map. There's a lot to play around. So uh, I look forward to seeing what happens when we get to this huge map, because there's a lot of space that needs to be covered to learn and to decide anything. Yeah, some agents that I want to see out, uh, come out of either team would be a Soba. I think a Soba is a yeah. must pick for this map. If not a Soba, I want to see potentially even a Sky. Uh, those Seekers really help you give intel of where someone is. And also it blinds them, so it's a little extra bonus to be blinded. Those Guiding Lights as well, but it looks like Mo Shannon Valley is just going to pick right off the bat. I do no. really, really appreciate that KO yeah. as well as the Chamber. Um, but but I, I don't know how I feel about that Yoru. I mean, look, I, I, we're gonna have a, I'm gonna have a sit down with this league after we're gonna talk about the importance of initiators after this. Like, this is gonna be something we do because we need to understand that like why we can get value and the why it's a must pick. The Yoru, I agree. Like, we've we this is the exact comp they ran before in, in game one, and I again like I like the the ideas on paper of a comp. This is not a bad comp. There's a little there's some holes, but like every comp has holes. The problem with this is that these are all 
Uh, these are all agents that require like a high, decent amount of skill and thinking and planning and prep. And Mo Shannon's like, it's like just a step ahead. Let's take it back a level. Let's get like a Killjoy, a Brimstone, like a Jet, and a like just take it back to basics. And I think we'd be good, but they are going to stick on this and they like it. Meanwhile, on the other side, uh, they are they're kind of just like messing around. They're looking, deciding. One of somebody will be playing Sage. I think that's decided. Uh, but agent. they will eventually come out to those things. I do like the Omen here. I kind of wish we were going more Astro or Brimstone. You want to cover a lot more angles here, and you do have a Haven, which is important to smoke off. But I kind of wish we had gotten a little bit more. We're looking to triple duelist. Uh, it, all right, it's a choice. Look, look. Look, look, no, now I'm going to schedule to sit down. Everybody's required to come to this class. We're going to talk about the importance of initiators because I I am I can stand for I can, I don't know if I can stand to this in the playoffs anymore, new. Uh, you know, I like the confidence coming out from Forest yeah. Hill. Uh, I could do double duelist, triple duelist. Uh, that's where my my line is crossed. Yeah, that's a, that's um, a question. They have flashes. They, uh, technically, they have double smokes if you want to ca count um, jet, jet smokes. Yeah, sure. But what they don't have is a sentinel. So they're going to have a really hard time holding back pushes. They can use the raise util. They can use the omen smokes. But what's the thing about omen smokes? You can just push them. It doesn't matter. Well, well, they have the, okay. Well, they do have the sage. So there's a little slowdown. But like, yeah. this is so big. There's no, like, you're going to put a sage wall. They'll break it. And then they're just going to rotate anyways. Like, it's mm -hmm. it's not that much of a slowdown. So this is, they have to just play, like, Forest Hills is just going to have to play aggressive. They're just going to have to play separate and aggressive. Because, like, Sage is also part duelist. Like, this whole team is just duelist.team in some ways for Forest Hills. And as long as they're feeling confident in it, sure. If Let's see the success work here. Yeah, I think they're trying to go, they're thinking attack only. If they can get enough attack. Uh points on attack then they don't have to worry about the defense and they're not going to have to worry about holding anyone sure off site right and with that the party's going to get right started onto this a site vako with that headshot onto esports 3 yoru is out of this map and now the site is able to be fully taken because uh, Esports 4, aka Chamber, is over onto this heaven. They do get a little bit of information from that tripwire, but not quite enough to actually connect. And uh, Vaco is just gonna full send it onto this CT, gonna go on a little stroll, gonna catch the, the stragglers who are coming along. They do know that Chamber is up in heaven. Sage was getting cheeky on that wall, oh, it had to go down. <laughs> Can we wall boost that? That's interesting. Yeah. I've never seen that before in my life. Okay, that's powerful. I'm gonna remember that I can do that as Sage. That's that's, that's good. That's a battle know. Sage at its yeah. finest if that's I've a, ever seen one. That's a bloodthirsty Sage. Uh, are we sure that's not not Reyna parading a Sage there in that regards? Because that feels like that. Could be. You know, that would actually be a good idea for Halloween if they had like some sort of like uh change yeah yeah, yeah. So they like change up the models so that like the the jet is actually a brimstone or something yeah that look i know we just fast paper fools but like hit me up <laughs> right we got ideas for next year absolutely and the idea is that they're gonna full send it onto this seaside there was a marshal in the hands of the chamber but unfortunately the reaction time was not quite there but Forest Hill, they're just running this map. You talk about Breeze being a big map. Well, so is Haven, and it looks like they're going to take full control of it as the Rays pushes on to the A site. The drone going to give away the position of the Cypher and Jegward trying to get some kills. It doesn't matter that the bomb is planted. They're just going on a hunt. I mean, there will be... I was say, it seems like Last bombs down and... Standing. You know, we haven't even bothered. Like, I don't know if the, it, it is far away from C, so I will give it. Maybe they didn't hear it, but like, that's a call you gotta make. Like, hey, bombs down at C. Someone just ping that. Let them know because you can't sit there and like take the duel necessarily. Otherwise, you're just gonna you're just gonna force it. And again, speaking of forcing that, uh, Mo Shannon is gonna force. They're gonna try to look into this. I want to see more long range picks, right? This map is so big, you can't afford to run these shotguns. These even the stinger for cipher is like a little bit much. Like you're on. You're on the defense, so you can kind of play it, but at the same time, like, this is just a huge map. There's going to be so much. Uh, you're not going to, I don't know that you're going to get value out of it. I do like the marshals and the guardians, and I yeah. also really enjoyed the trips uh, put down by the cypher. I think that they are actually 
That's useful, a great as we can see. They are kind of holding da back the attacks uh, and giving away some information. But unfortunately, it's the positioning of how these players go out. Uh, Reyna going to be getting this kill onto Chamber. And uh, it's going to be Hazaka also on the lurk around that's going to get the kill onto Cypher. And now the re-kick is happening once again with just one person. And that one person is going to be the KO who's all the way over onto a site fighting Arena, who is nowhere yeah. near the team for absolutely no reason. Okay, okay, but five HP, you got to pick. That's something. Uh, you know, still wants to take that duel there. I don't, I don't quite know why. Spike is down on C. Uh, you know, noob. Again, like sometimes you play. They're gonna opt to play for picks here and play for value that way. I think and uh. It's working out. It's definitely working out for Forest yeah. Hill. They're aggressive yeah. team. They, the way that they're thinking about this is if we can overrun a site with just two players, be it. We'll do it. We're going to take it, and then we're going to play post plant, and then we're going to just boost up our stats as we go and roam around for the kills. I think that their team composition is definitely geared towards they that can. aggression, and it's with the Sage and the, and the Rays that they are able to take on a site. I, yeah, you, you've said that right, and the early aggressive Cypher play will get punished. I, that's so far up, my goodness, uh, we'll get punished from that. The picks begin to fall, and I mean, it's already almost done, uh, new, we're already almost done here. There it is, yeah, I didn't even finish the sentence, it's done there. Uh, uh, you know, the aggressiveness of this Forest Hills team is, is paying off, because they're hitting the shots, they're making the value there, uh, and, and you can kind of see it, so, all right. Moshana Valley, let's, let's, let's chat here. Let's let's bring it in. Let's go just hold some pistols. We don't need armor. Let's just save our money for a minute. Take a big breath, reset. You know, we'll we'll take one round loss and let's get ourselves to like a full a full buy for next round and then, then go ham. Hayasaka keeps is investing in this Odin again over there. This is um, oh, man. I don't know if they're actually gonna keep it, but they've saved, they've told it a couple times, so I'm very curious to see what happens when you give the omen an Odin. I do think something that is working for more Shannon Valley is the lurk around. Like, look at this lurk coming out from Chamber. The shots just need to connect. Um, and unfortunately, it's that B aggression coming out from Jetward that is going to catch out the Cypher. But that runaround is still that flank coming out from Chamber might be useful. I mean, 1v3, that's going to be the position of Jegward onto this uh, C site. But uh, Esports 4 did get the memo. They're supposed to go towards the bomb to defuse it. So they are in the right track. They just need to connect some shots with Ooh. an enemy. I saw one was trying to hit. I believe there was some damage being done yeah. there, but not quite enough to actually get the kill. It was unfortunately just timed to that Sage Wall, because the Sage Wall ate most of it. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, that probably would have been a good kill, and there would have been a scramble back. So uh, the the thought, the looks were good. It was, it was a good thought there. Um, you know, yes. Vako, like, goes here. the only person who's died on the side of, of four still so far is Hayazaka. And that is... Uh, that says something like that's just wild that it's only been Hayasaka who's like been playing quite liberally to be frank so mm -hmm. not to be expected but I think the other thing worth noting here is that uh, we were kind of given this tip there is that um phase oh. I, I missed oh oh a pick from from the KO down there on C I like that that's a that's a that's a good denial I like it uh yeah you no longer have the raised pen shells or that uh boomba to really disposition you I like this Hold coming out from Esports 1, but unfortunately Vako is there as well to back up their teammate. And now the A site has been given up and the aggression continues. The Hayasaka in B site with that operator. By the way, that's a really nice operator. That's, that's a, oh, it's the uh, the go one. Okay, yeah. Because it's the, uh, that's the jet op. Yes, they have, they have spike down. They have full control. The Yoru is lurking, trying to see what they can find, but uh, we gotta walk. We gotta walk before we run, quite literally, because they'll get found out before it's done too quick and i think they've heard the footsteps so there'll be a little bit of cleanup with that off shot yeah there it is uh to bring that up but they are getting some picks for the side of Moshannon valley and and every stat helps towards keeping them out of uh falling out of playoff contention so it is what it is uh they do have several ultimates on board too so let's see if we can I, again like you know let's let's talk aggression here let's send the ko in let's let's commit that uh ultimate send them in we can pick them up afterwards if we want to play aggressive, though, we should probably look away from Guardians. I like the, you know, the, there's good pick potential in that. But this is the time you want to bring out something like, you know, a Judge or, you know, like a little bit longer. I prefer the Spectre, but like something to that. Let's, so let's see what they can do with these ultimates. 
Yeah, the importance of having Thanks, shield so. and a good weapon makes a huge thing, especially when going up against other um, AKs or operators. But this time around, it's going to be Forest Hill spicing yeah. things up, bringing us a spike onto this B site. It's just one person lurking about onto that A. It's going to be a push from Raze onto Yoru, and Yoru's out of that map. But Kale still looking by Garage gets caught out with a utility out. So unfortunate. But it's Omen being able to catch out Reyna onto this A site. Still alive, looking to make a change onto this mid site. But Hayasaka says, look at this operator. It's so pretty. I will say, it is. Um, <laughs> all right, yeah. But, but so, like, let's slow these pushes a little bit. Let's let's commit some, like, smokes. Let's commit some utility. Uh, the most success Machine in Valley has found is when they've set themselves up for success by, like, using these utility, getting all this Cypher util down. Uh, I haven't seen a KO knife, but like that would be great just to know uh, exactly what's coming their way. Uh, and now there's all five ultimates. Like, all right, even with a half buy, you've got a bunch of ultimates. Let's see if you can. Let's put some of them to use and see if we can get something. And I just I say that there is an omen. There is an omen smoke, so that's something. <gasps> oh no, but he's taking out his ultimate in mid site. Oh wait. That reposition from C site, it looked like Sage thought that Omen was gonna teleport right to her, but that was not the case. It oh, is man. though Hayasaka catching a little bit of a rotation, but MB5 able to connect. That's already a good start. One kill. Looking for the second on to Reyna swings through, but Reyna runs and guns. And my running guns don't quite go like that, but Reyna's do, and Esports 2 is the last person standing. Guardian in the hand. Trying to make something happen. Blind comes through. Gonna go for the blind. Gonna swing through. But Hayasaka with the no scope. Finishing it off. Putting an eight point on board. I mean, it wasn't. There wasn't a 360, so I can't give you the credit for it. Uh, that's the problem with this, unfortunately. It was you had the A for effort, yeah, but there was no 360. I'm sorry. I, you, I can't give you your internet credit for that. So, um, but a good, but a good run. Four stills up 8 0. They're looking good. You know, it's. I, I, I think I have to concede this, noob. Uh, Moshannon is probably not making it to playoffs at this point, if I had to guess. Uh, and, and unfortunately, that kind of seems like the case as we look into this. They committed two ultimates, uh, but there's... Oh, that's immediately the chamber getting picked. So uh, unfortunately, that's going to keep that rolling. Uh, but 4v5, still anything possible. Vako just kind of will get, eventually get caught out by the shotgun of the Cypher. Uh, we'll find some amount of value there from that. And that's a good pick. We'll find two more, and four stills will get the spike down eventually. Uh, coming in 4v1, it's just the Yoru from the side of Moshan and Valley to try to close this up. Is kind of hiding in the corner. They're going to search. They're going to look. We'll eventually get found out. And yeah, that's, that is all she wrote. Four stills bringing it up 9 to 0. Well, sometimes that's the way the the dominoes fall but at least yeah, there's some was there yeah it's an unfortunate situation coming out from O'Shannon Valley uh we d we I feel like we are gonna go back to this point and it's the fact that once you're starting out at uh, something you have to make sure that you use the fundamentals and that's something that we're not kind of seeing them do the fundamentals being a good team composition and uh an easy team composition that you yeah. can kind of rely on yeah, it definitely shows that like some amount of, of thought has and like learning the characters has come into way, but it's it's not enough, unfortunately. And you can see it like there's a great cypher play. Great cypher play. You wait, you hold those angles, the trip the trip wall gets some value, but uh you know, the one or two picks coming through just aren't enough. We'll grab that instead and clean it up for uh ten to zero, noob. It's rough. I mean there's yeah. no there's no way we can yeah, there's put no it. Way. Yeah. Um, Forest Hill just looking like a very dominant team, and, and you can tell that they feel it. The, the triple operator, though, new like uh, a confidence. Feel that's feeling it. Like that's that's we're not even. We just want to. We know you're gonna peak. That's the thing is they know they're gonna peak, right? So yeah. like we can buy ops. We'll sit on them. We'll wait and we'll catch them off guard because we know they're just gonna come at us and we can just outrange them. And that's rule number one in this game. You can't. You gotta know the ranges that are coming at you. Yeah, something that I'd like to see too is a change. Actually, as I said that, we do have that Cypher rotating over to that C site, which we saw last round was successful. That was an attempt at that teleport. Um, Probably not at the perfect time. So getting caught out, but I do like that attempt of a teleport coming out from Yoru. 
And it's going to be the Chamber Disposition that is going to give a 2k over to Esports 5. But unfortunately, it's Reyna who manages to last get that kill. Half. And uh, we're about to be into the second to last point. Um, also, the last point for this half, so on. Uh, as uh, as it tends to roll, this is kind of the story from O'Shannon Valley, right? Uh, they're used to kind of seeing these numbers pop up, unfortunately. But... Uh, you know, we, we alluded this this earlier, right? Like, this is a team that was kind of thrown together. They were kind of just thrown in the league. So, uh, you know, this is, if if nothing else, this is a definite sign that you need to schedule some practice time with the team. Uh, sit down, get into some unrated, play some games, watch some videos, and just just prepare for next year. Because that's, that's, that's pretty good. I think that's kind of what you're looking for here. Yeah, and I applaud them for going out and putting themselves out there oh, yeah. because just competing in itself is a different thing than just, you know, joining a game and playing on rated with your friends or ranked. You really require a lot of communication. You really commu require a lot of uh, just time playing together as well. So it, just putting yourself out there and competing in a tournament like this or in a league like this is very good. We get the pick from the chamber, though. Good use of the shorty. We'll, uh, we'll eventually spot the weakness of, of it. We'll rush him. Chamber's coming to life here. We'll okay. eventually... No, no okay. way. Okay, chamber. Pop off. We see you. We see you. All right. That, that was almost a 4K. Yeah, all right. Match point. You know what? That's that's the take. That's the win today, right? That play right there. Slap that at number five in the highlight reel for me, because that was big. That was a big play from from O'Shannon Valley right there. Even if it didn't lead to success, that was a pretty big play. It and you talked about it before on Breeze um, when they were playing against Penn Trafford. It's the fact that they have really good ideas. They just need to connect with the rest of yeah. the game. The aim, where is your crosshair placement? When do you swing? How do you swing? Who's there to back you up when you swing to make sure that your death isn't in vain? Um, and I, I think like once they start connecting those dots, they're definitely going to be a much better team. There is hope. And at the end of the day, as much time as you put into the game, you shall see a reward. Jaguar, though, getting caught out there. Um, yeah, uh, I, don't think they were, I don't think they were expecting that. But they've gotten control of this. We'll get it flanked, unfortunately. So uh, flashes will come in, and Seasight is going to fall pretty quickly because no one was quite set up. I don't think they were expecting this. I don't think so. Pavako's shot is there and continuing to go on the hunt onto this Seasight. It is got a 3v2. Plant. Enemy right we got a plant, new. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Never mind. It was a plant. That is another plant. victory. Yeah, We're talking about made. it. <laughs> a plant was made, but the ace was made over the top of it. So, I mean. Listen, we take the victories yeah. where you can get them. So, yeah. I, it was the plant. It was the 3 k coming out from yeah. Chamber. It was that initial headshot onto Jegward from Omen. Yeah. You, there, there were little victories, and we got to yeah. applaud those. Yeah, I, I do applaud those. And you know what else I applaud there is the Chamber there. Uh, not, you know, is separating themselves a little bit from the pack, and I, I don't know what was made different, but, like, you know, every step upward and every step forward is a big game, so unfortunately for Moshannon Valley, uh, they'll take a step back, they'll be out for playoffs, and, uh, you know what, you got plenty of time, come back, you know, get some, get some acquainted, watch some YouTube videos, come back, we'll see them next season, uh, and Forest Hills will, again, we'll see them in the playoffs, but a good run from them. And I mean, 25 and three for Vaco is that's, that's a phenomenal play from them. Yeah. They do combat score 497. I think that's the first four hundreds we see, Team, yeah. uh, last game. We almost saw Penn Trafford. I think, yeah, I think it was almost, I think it was almost, yeah, it was a little before well around there, but like we said, Good try to Motion and Valley. Sometimes you do not always get the dub, and there is a lot of time to prep for the next season. We do hope to see them again because we want to see them grow. Yeah. I mean, there's always that hope for the underdog yeah. that they come back and do better. Um, but just a reminder, playoffs for Valorant begin next week at the same time, same place here at Twitch.tv, the esports company, folks. Make sure you come and hang out with us. It starts at 3.30 p.m. Eastern time. Um, and then the finals week of Rocket League Division 1 and 2 take place uh, on the same page, the esports company. Okay. And uh, the Division 2, though, is a little bit different. They're going to be over on Tech High School League. Yep. Um, 
And last but not least, don't forget to follow us here on the esports company. Hit that follow button, maybe even that alert button so you get notified when we go live. And don't forget to also hit up the socials, Instagram, Twitter. And last but not least, Soeb, any last words for me? Uh, it's it's been a pleasure to be here to catch these games and to be a part of the season i can't wait to see what these uh, these teams bring to playoffs it's going to be exciting so make sure you come back because we'll be here uh and i look forward to more and also a big shout out and thank you to oki who's been helping us behind the scenes keeping the show going straight and uh straight and well so uh thank you much but uh it's always a pleasure yeah, and with that, thank you. Don't forget to do exclamation mark caster to follow me and Soab. And like he stated, we are out for the day. Hope you enjoy your rest of your day. Care. Okay.